Hello everyone, this is Shinmay from Mekado Clinic. Welcome back to our show. Uh, most of the videos are uh, related to assembly and everything. But this video I am going to tell you how to uh, do this uh, precision work. It's a precision work because uh, when you are installing this unit or this pair, if you break it, then everything is going to be dead. So the subject is in which you are going to help me out to understand that piston insertion in the block. It's a very um, general topic what I have chosen but um, most of the people are making you know videos on something else and they are not showing exact procedure in the video how to insert this. Now in this case just in case if you want to do it very fast but with great precision then this is the block right there is a special chamber which is provided for insertion purpose this is the chamber the chamber is basically to compress the piston ring now this is the piston so if you want to insert the piston the best assembly procedure is that insert the piston first in the block and then insert whole unit on the uh, connecting wrist pin locking of wrist pin can be done later on but there is a trick if you miss that then everything will go on toss so first set the ring according to the manual I am just setting up normal now I am not any uh, uh, installing according to the manual just going according to the judgment now this is how I have installed the piston ring now the wrist pin is basically here because if you look at this point and this stud hole then should come in line but make sure once you install the piston do not rotate the piston at any cost otherwise the ring position will get changed this is the push rod hole right so i know that the piston uh, this is exhaust uh, this is the exhaust side and this is inlet side so this is inlet and this is exhaust so i know the position of the uh, exhaust inlet and so the push rod now simple way how to insert the piston in just few seconds first just apply some lubrication or engine assembly loop if you have now right now i'm just showing you demo now some guys must be thinking that why to install the piston first in the block rather than installing it when it is on the engine that is also one procedure but the problem is what sometimes what happens that the i'll just put some oil first here sometimes what happens that uh, while inserting the piston rings get bent very easily very often so this is a very different procedure now I know the wrist pin area so this is the wrist pin area right this is the wrist pin area this piston doesn't have any uh, exhaust marking so it's either side now I have to I'm going to install the piston let me just check I'll show you from different angle so this is the exact parallel point right now I have to install the piston this is how it has to be right without even touching the ring I have inserted the piston all the rings are there I'll show you once again here is the piston ring this ring is also set and I have done all, all the settings just normal way just to show you now you have to insert like this way that's it that's it in this case I am not even touching the piston ring then once you are done with the piston insertion 
then just hold the block like this way in your hand and then you can easily insert the wrist pin when the block or when the engine is on the chassis so thanks for watching and have a great day